Today, House Democrats hold a hearing for bills promoting electric vehicles. Our Washington correspondent Raquel Martin reports on why Republicans are calling on the efforts and saying that they're counterproductive. Everyone has to understand that electric vehicles are the future. That's coming from the auto industry itself. Democrats are pushing multiple clean energy bills. They say are designed to promote the manufacturing and sales of electric vehicles in the U.S. To ensure we're ready for this growing demand, we must invest in the necessary charging and manufacturing infrastructures. At Tuesday's hearing, Democrats and a slate of green energy experts insisted the measures are needed not only to meet President Biden's climate goals, but to beat competitors and create 21st century jobs. Europe and China are implementing several of these policies already. We have some catch up to do. But Republicans don't see it the same way. They say a push towards electric vehicles actually threatens jobs and makes the U.S. more vulnerable to China. Which controls 80 to 90 percent of the critical minerals that go into the EV business. The Clean Future Act puts the cart before the horse. Michigan Republican Congressman Fred Upton says the U.S. must first secure its own electrical vehicle supply chain to ensure energy prices remain low. The last thing we want to do is take away people's mobility and livelihoods by limiting options of affordable and reliable vehicles. We don't really see this as a choice. Josh Nasser with the United Auto Workers says while his union understands electric vehicle investments are needed, he expects lawmakers to make U.S. workers a priority. We need to make sure that, you know, these new jobs are created are good jobs. In Washington, Raquel Martin, KCAU 9 News.